Hey everyone, so today I am doing a Target haul video, which I'm very excited to do. I don't think I've ever done a haul video, technically, and I figured that Target is a great place for me to start because I love Target so much, and I know that so many people have this same thing where when they go to Target, you don't really necessarily need anything, but you show up and you buy all this stuff because there's so much cool stuff there. They've got clothes, house stuff, food, accessories, beauty products, shower stuff. I mean, they have everything you could pretty much ever need all wrapped up in one store. Now to look at all the stuff that I got at Target, I want to get started because I got a lot of stuff. So some of it's fall related things and some of it's just like stuff that I wanted. So yeah, let's start. Okay. Um, first of all, in the spirit of Halloween, I decided to get this sippy cup which is just like kind of childish of me, but I really liked it when I was walking around because it has little owls on it, see? It's um, and it's got this straw right here, so if you pour something in it, it's like the drink goes through to the sides, and yeah, it's just like a fun little Halloween cup that I found there, and I wanted to get it. So I got it, and that's what Target does to me. It makes me buy things that I wouldn't normally buy necessarily. All right, and I got a couple candles. Um, I got a pumpkin spice candle, and... I haven't tried it yet, but it smells so good. It smells like a pumpkin pie, pretty much. So it's very fall-like. I can't wait to use that. Okay, I got another candle um, that is apple blossom, and it's not really like a fall scent or anything. I just... Mmm, it smells like apple blossoms. I don't even know what that is exactly. Apparently, it's a flower. Um, it's a Yankee candle. It's it smells really good, and I can't wait to burn it. Mmm, candles. Um... So I've been eating a couple eyeshadow brushes lately, and so I got these, I'm not sure how to say the brand, Kash Kashuk, Kashuk? Um, eyeshadow brushes. I got the small eyeshadow brush and the large domed eyeshadow brush, because normally I put eyeshadow on with my fingers, which is really weird, like, I don't know, I guess most people use brushes and I don't, and I'm trying to get better at doing my makeup in a more proper way, and so... I, uh, I'm gonna try these out. I'm excited to try them. I think I don't think they're probably gonna be like the best brushes in the world because they're not super expensive. They're like maybe ten dollars each. Or, I can't remember exactly how much they were, but I think they're gonna work well. And I have the Kabuki brush of this brand, and I think it works fine. So I um yeah got these. I think they're gonna be good. I got the same brand, the Sonia Kashuk um, eyeshadows, and I got the color um, purple haze eyeshadow quad. So. It's got like um, a pink, a purple, a brownish color, and a white. They're very sparkly and I like it a lot. I put, what I've been doing when I wear it is I put a darker eyeshadow on first and then I put, like if, um, okay, so I also got this Maybelline color tattoo eyeshadow and it's basically like a liquid um, like eyeshadow in a little container like this. And I actually use my finger to put this on and I'm wearing it right now um, in this video. And then I, so this is like a, a maroon color. What's the actual color? It's uh, pomegranate punk. So it's a very pomegranate color. And I put the light pink that's like glitter on over this. And I think it looks really good. And I like it a lot. It's not an eyeshadow that I would wear every day because it's very glittery. But I do like it a lot. Now this one, um, the pomegranate pink, pomegranate punk, I actually think it's a pretty fall color as well. Because um, it's very like deep and looks like autumn, fall, leaves, and things. Okay, um, let's see, what else did I get? So I saw these at the store, and I'm not really sure how I feel about them yet. They're called Baby Lips, and I don't know if they're actually for babies. I bought them because they were really cute, and the flavors were two of my favorite flavors, so peppermint and cherry. Um, they smell amazing, like really good. I'm just gonna put the cherry one on now. It doesn't really have much color. Um, which is nice. I don't really like too much color on my lips, and it has SPF in it. It has a SPF 20, so if you're looking for some lip protection from the sun, I actually do recommend these. I think they, they feel good, and they smell amazing, and they don't really taste much, so if you're looking for a flavorful lip gloss, don't get these, because... They don't taste very good. So I got the creme brulee lip butter, and I heard about. I first heard about these through Miss Glamorazzi, and she was like, "Lip butters, they're amazing." And I really like this color. 
Um, it's a very natural color and I really, really like natural colors for everything, whether it's makeup, nails, lips, it's like natural skin tone colors, earth colors. I'm probably going to buy it and like it. I bought this Revlon Bellini color. It's lip gloss. Um, it's the color, the Revlon Color Burst line and I, I like it. It's, um, it's very subtle and I put it on over the creme brulee and it looks awesome. So. Yay. I feel like every time I put something back over here, if I have two, I keep clapping them. I don't know why I do that. Kind of weird. Okay, moving on. Uh, la, la, la. So for nails, I got two Essie colors that um, I really like. Natural colors, of course. I got Bella... What? I th okay, so I'm really new to nail polishes and buying nail polishes. I meant to buy ballerina slippers. And I accidentally bought Mademoiselle, apparently, but I really think this color looks cool. The colors, they all kind of look alike, and I'm trying to learn how to, like, look, notice the difference between them, but I thought I was buying ballerina slippers, but I guess I bought Mademoiselle, which I'm probably going to love anyway, because it's a bright pink. Not bright, it's a light, natural color looking pink. I also got San Tropez, Trops, Tropes, Tropez, not sure how to say it, and it's a very mauve light grayish color that I think I'm gonna like. Um, it's a step away from the normal light pink colors that I get but I think I'm really gonna like it and can't wait to try it and I have to clap these because there's two and I have to stick with the trend. Yay! I'm telling you guys Target has everything. Okay next I got um, Hello Kitty car air freshener things and they basically smell kinda like strawberry. Oh that's because it's a strawberry flavor. I'm smart. Scratch and sniff? What? Do I have to scratch it to get it to work? I don't know. Anyways, I love anything Hello Kitty. Oh wait, you guys can't see it, but I pretty much have a Hello Kitty shrine behind me over there because Hello Kitty is amazing and, you know, I, just, I think it's cool. So, I got these and they're going to be great. Ooh. Um, alright, that's it for that bag. Let's see. Oh, something I'm so excited to show you guys. This is like kind of... I don't know, it's not that exciting, but it's exciting to me. I got this thing called a Cube Charger by Taba, which is basically an iPhone charger, and it's pink, and it comes with a cool little case, and the reason I like this is because my iPhone is this pink ombre color. Um, this case is by Belkin, and I love it. It's like, it starts off as a bright pink, fades into a dark pink, and that's exactly what this color is, so I always keep an iPhone charger in my purse, and... Um, I think this is going to be the one that I start carrying around because it matches and I really, really, really like it and I'm actually like super excited to open this and actually start using it. Um, yay, but it's only for the iPhone 4, no iPhone 5s. So us cool iPhone 4 people who still have the iPhone 4, you know, we're going to have these cool iPhone. Actually, I didn't even look. I hope this is for the iPhone 4. Yeah, it is. Another thing I got is this big, fuzzy, warm blanket, and I love it so much. So I'm a big throws and like blanket person, and I'm every year I always buy new blankets, and oh my gosh, Target usually has some good ones, but they've outdone themselves with this one. It's the, uh, let's see, what's the brand? It's the Threshold Fuzzy Blanket, uh, luxuriously soft and lightweight. Um, I got the cream color, and it has this, like, suede lining or across the whole thing, and, um, it's, like, pretty much replaced my comforter for me right now, and things, the weather's finally starting to cool off in LA, and I can actually use this blanket, and, um, yeah, it's, oh, it's so soft. I could just, I could just show you guys this blanket for, like, an hour, because I think you should all go get it. Oh my gosh, so soft blanket. Okay. Lastly, I got two clothing items. One is the sweater I'm wearing right now, which I actually really like. It's got um, like ribbed sleeves, just slightly. It's just a normal sweater, and I think the pattern on the front is super cute, and I'm trying to show you all without having to be standing up, because I'm lazy and don't want to stand up. Um, but I really like this sweater. I don't normally like sweaters that are like pullover sweaters, but I just thought the bright colors on this one looked really cool and it's kind of like an alternative to normal fall sweaters and I generally um, like things like this with like chunky color blocking and stuff. It's pretty much my favorite thing ever right now. Um, so I also got this shirt which is just a black um, loose fitted 
shirt. Um, but the, the details in the top, which I don't think the camera is picking it up, but it's this, um, this fake leathery soft material at the top, just lining the neckline. And I think it's really cool. It's, um, it's just subtle enough detail that makes the shirt look different than a black t-shirt and I like it a lot. So they had this in a bunch of different colors and they had a bunch of different uh, sweaters like this one. And so yeah, but these are the only two I got for today. Um, anyways, so I freaking love Target. Uh, do you guys do the same thing when you go to Target? If not, uh, what is the store that when you walk into you feel like you just buy all this stuff that you don't need, that you didn't intend to buy? Uh, leave a comment down below letting me know what that store is for you. Mine is definitely Target. It's been that way since I was like 15, 16. Ever since I learned how to drive, I'd be bored with my sister and I'd be like, hey, wanna go to Target and buy stuff? And she'd be like, yeah, let's do it. So, I don't know, love Target. Uh, it's a great store. Uh, it sounds like I'm being sponsored by Target. I wish if anyone works at Target, sponsor me, because I obviously love it. All right, well that is it for today's video. Be sure to check out my second channel. I will link at the end of this video if you want to see daily vlogs from me where I walk around with a camera, not this one, but an actual camera, and I'm like, hey guys, what's up? This is what I'm doing, eating food, hanging out with these friends, and just a bunch of stuff like that. But if you want to check it out, feel free, and I'm going to end this video now, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!